if x and b a sequence of positive real numbers such that <coughs> x n plus 1 divided by x n converts to L converts to L and if L less than 1 then x n converts to g. So given is x n sequence of positive numbers then we have to show x n 0 if the limit of x n plus 1 divided x n is equal to l and l is less than that means this is given. So since x n plus 1 divided by x n converts to l then by definition of convergence for each epsilon positive there exist some m as natural number such that x n plus 1 divided by x n minus l less than epsilon for all n greater than m. This is the definition. Now we open the absolute value. So we get minus epsilon less than x n plus 1 divided by x n minus l less than epsilon 4 or n greater than n. If I add l to the inequality, I get l minus epsilon less than x n plus 1 divided by x n less than l plus epsilon 4 or n greater than n. Now, since l less than 1, then take r such that r lies between l and 1 and let epsilon is equal to r minus l because r is bigger than l so r minus l is positive so this value if i take this equation 1 place epsilon is equal to r minus l in 1 we get we get we get l minus r plus epsilon x n plus 1 x n l plus r minus l this l will cancel and because x n is positive x n is positive so x n plus 1 also positive so I can take this is 
x n less than r because this term is positive as given x n is positive so we get this now this is for all n greater than m here also n greater than m therefore if i put value of n from m onward m and m onward then what i get let n is equal to m this mean i get x m plus 1 x m less than r n equal to m plus 1 give us x m plus 2 divided by x m plus 1 less than r and so on if i continue up to n is equal to n i get x n plus 1 x n less than r if i multiply all these equation i get on multiplying all above inequalities i get what this is something x m plus 1 divided by x m into x m plus 2 divided by x m plus 1 and okay third one term also i take m plus 3 divided by x m plus 2 and so on the last term is x m plus 1 divided by x m and right side is r how many r i say this is r n plus 1 minus m I explain why I take this value because the equation were m n minus m and the first term is n plus 1 so n plus 1 minus m just wait this will cancel this will cancel so all will cancel and we left with x n plus 1 divided by x m less than r n plus 1 minus m this we can simply do just by taking if i take x2 by x1 less than r and x3 by x2 less than r x4 by x3 less than r I just apply induction on these three equation. What I get? I get if I multiply these three equation, I get x2 by x1 into x3 by x2, x4 by x3. Then this cancel, this cancel, and how many are? R is 3. So here you see x4 by x1 is equal to equal to R4 minus 3. That means it is the difference of the suffix of the numerator minus suffix of the denominator or you can say the difference of the suffix of numerator and numerator. So simply we can have this. So I rub this. Now <coughs> this I can write x n plus 1 less than r n 
into R one minus M into X M. C. The term in the bracket is free from N, independent of N. So I take limit. I take limit. Limit N approach to infinity. This is X plus one less than limit n approach to infinity r n and this part r 1 minus m into x m as it is because it is free from n so it is like constant it is not affected by the increasing n so what happened this because because r is number less than 1 r is number like this so we know that r n approach to 0 that means limit n approach to infinity x n plus 1 less than 0 because this number becomes 0 so 0 into any finite number this is 0 so this is 0 and now limit of this sequence less than 0 but we have given that the x sequence is positive term but but it is given x n is sequence of positive positive real number so it can it can never be less than epsilon so always we know that limit and approach to infinity x n should be positive this term we already have proved either it is 0 or greater than 0 so this and this we take we conclude so limit and approach to infinity x n is equal to 0 this is the example let x n is equal to 1 by 2 n then x n plus 1 divided by x n is equal to 1 by 2 n plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 n and this is equal to this is equal to two n by one by two n plus one that is two n two n into two this cancel and this is finally one by two now now x n plus one divided by x n converts to 1 by 2 1 by 2 that is less than 1 therefore 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 also obviously x n is equal to 2 n converts to 0. This is an example. But what about the converse? Converse of this term. We see the converse. I say converse is not true example if i take let 
x n is equal to 1 by n then we know x n converts to 0 but but x n plus 1 divided by x n is equal to 1 by n plus 1 divided by 1 by n that is equal to that is equal to n by n plus 1 and if I divide numerator and denominator by n then it becomes 1 plus 1 by n which converts to 1 because at infinity this term become 0 this term become 0 so this is not less than 1 this is not less than 1 that is that is x n plus 1 x n converts to l but n is not less than 1 so so we conclude we conclude if if x n converts to 0 not necessarily x n plus 1 divided by x n converts to converts to n less than 1 because here in example it is converging to 1 not less than 1